Here we are at Ceiba Airport in eastern Puerto Rico getting ready to get on a Vieques Airlink little puddle jumper airplane to fly to the island of Vieques today. We'll be spending a couple nights on this island exploring the beaches, going on a um, bioluminescent bay tour, and who knows what else? We'll see what we discover. So, vamonos! And this is, uh, this used to be the former Roosevelt Roads uh, Naval Base here up until, I don't know, about 15 years or so ago. And uh, they're converting some of it to uh, civilian use. And uh, this little puddle jumper here, it's, uh, it's going to take us 10 minute flight yeah. and it's costing us $40 each way. So uh, this should be, uh, be interesting. When we signed up, they asked us what our weight was. So I guess they could balance out the plane. So we'll see what the, what the size of this plane is. So it should be pretty interesting. <laughs> well, one of these two planes is probably going to be ours, or most likely ours. Uh, don't know which one. Neither one of them is pretty big. They just weighed all of our luggage. And uh, so uh, I guess we're almost ready to go. Well, we're about here about an hour early, so we're not really ready to go. We'll wait around here for a little bit. No place to buy anything here, so small. But we'll just sit here, play with our phones. And off we go. All loading up. Bag. As promised, five minute ride. Didn't really know it was a national wildlife, wildlife refuge, but, um, but it is. And actually going in through here is where we went to uh, the beach today. Well, after much uh, searching, we went to uh, La Chiva um, Beach today. And uh, it seems like there's always, there are some of these uh, little spots um, sort of carved out where you can come in and uh, they have nice little shelters. Over at 12 there's a bathroom actually. But uh, we chose this one because it's got a little shade. Show you where these trees are. It doesn't have the palm trees that we've been seeing in Lukio. But uh, we have some of these little trees here. So we'll, we'll put our blanket, blanket here. And uh, goes out onto this uh, this beach right here and uh, so far there's no one else in our little bay a little inlet here so this is uh, where we're going to spend a little bit of time and we'll hopefully do those snorkeling see what uh, see what that'll bring us okay, this is where we're staying for the next couple days the Bravo Beach Hotel except it's up on a hill that's a it's a <laughs> It's a name that's a little misleading since it's not really on the beach, but uh, <laughs> Well, you don't know that, do you? I don't know that, but looks really nice. Looks really nice. I must uh, look out over the, over the ocean. Maybe there is a beach down here, but we'll find out. Let's go check in. Well, today we're trying to go to the uh, Playa Negra, the black sand beach here. Um, GPS took us to what's probably not the correct spot. We see a little bit of, of black beach down here. Oops.
but there's more. So we're gonna have to go find the uh, trail to the beach someplace else. The entrance to the trail of Playa Negra. Well, this is uh, Playa Caracas and uh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful horseshoe beach, turquoise water, Wild ponies. Uh, wild ponies, some shelters, and we're actually sitting off to the side, not really on the beach, uh, because we got even more shade over here. But, uh, man, it's, uh, Lisa thinks there's going to be some good snorkeling in here, because you see the, the rocks. Um, so she'll try that out a little later. But, uh, good parking here. This is, this looks really, really nice. the beach in front of uh, the main dragon La Esperanza. It's not bad. It's the old pier. We just uh, snorkeled that. Yeah, there's a few fish. Not bad. Certainly better than uh, we saw on the catamaran trip uh, in Fajardo and the tacos. And uh, this is looking down the beach in the, uh, the other direction. So uh, hey, easy access here. Just walk right in. See some few fish. Not a bad beach couple of places for shade and uh, certainly uh, you get a uh, an extraordinary extraordinary view there's a beach at uh, our hotel it's not really much, much of a beach pretty rocky a little bit of sand but uh, what you can see here is a stunning sunset don't know if the GoPro catch captures that well but uh, your loss not mine and this is our hotel and the beach up in this direction. Not really much of a beach. Over here, you can see El Yuque. You just swim across. Not really. Looks like here comes the ferry. Two ways to get the VHS here, flying or ferry. We took uh, flying, cost us $40 each way from uh, Saiba. I don't know what the ferry costs, but that ferry is always a little, uh, little two dollars. Two, how much? Two dollars. Two dollars. Always a little dicey because in uh, bad weather it doesn't run, uh, and in marginal weather it is rocky as heck and rocking and rolling. But on that thing where people have just uh, just been throwing up left and right, and uh, you know sometimes it's unreliable. It breaks down. You know they only sell so many tickets. Have to buy them in line. You know, it's a big mess of the ferry. So, uh, from that one, I recommend flying. 
Well, I just got off the phone with the car rental place because we've already looked three places to refill our, our rental car with gas and they were closed. And it turns out that the reason that they're closed is because there isn't any gas. On the island. On the island right now. The gas is arriving this afternoon or tomorrow morning. <laughs> Sometime. <laughs> Sometime. Who knows when. And uh, she said that there will probably be long lines when the gas does arrive. No so, joke. <laughs> so what they'll do at the rental car place is instead of what our contract says of $30 they're going to fill it up. They will just fill it up at the market rate, the amount of gas up to where we left, uh, wh where it was when we got it, which was only seven eighths. And now we understand that as well. <laughs> so that's how gas works here on Isla Villaquez. <laughs> now we're just driving along a, uh, a road along the coast. Uh, there's at least five people here, sir. Sorry, that's such a massive car. <laughs> it's in the way. the first surfing I've seen so we're on the Atlantic side I guess yeah, right definitely. now Ooh, and it's a little bumpy in case you can tell now let's see if we can see in there you can see people there whoa those are some big waves there's some good sized waves no they're wonder they're huge. surfing here whoa wow oh yeah I want to see them surf those things not just lie in them waiting for something good when that was something good Come on, people. Get up on your boards. That was a huge wave. They missed it. Every single one of them. Yeah, they seem like they're too far out now. Yeah, I think they know what they're doing. Here comes one. Oh, yeah. Trying to catch this one. This guy's trying to catch take it. This over, so. Ooh. Yeah. Off you go. Yeah. One oh. guy I caught it. Yep, here they are, all lined up on the road. Yeah, that's quite a few of them here. So here, Pata Prieta. And, uh, huh. Oh, so this is, uh, so the red area here is an area that's uh, under investigation for former munitions when the Navy used this as a target area. So just don't go there. So we're in the uh, the public use allowed area. Wow. Yeah, they also uh, give you some instructions about the three R's. Recognize unexploded munitions, retreat, and report. Very interesting. So we're supposed to uh, keep an eye out for these uh, concrete markers. Yellow means it's a public use area, it means it was a former munitions area munitions area. Uh, tells you no digging, no staking, but obviously they came here and they cleaned that up. The red zones, don't go. Do not go. Unexploded ordnance area. It's interesting. Stay away from those uh, red uh, red concrete cones. All right, let's go down the road here. The path to the beach. There's a parking lot. There's one other car here today. This is the trail to the beach. This is the trail okay, to the beach. Come and, get a picture of the trail. and you can see the beach wow. down there. This is a uh, Pata Priata. It's a very nice couple of shady spots carved up in the trees. Obviously pretty desolate, isolated here today. Just this other couple. Here's uh, Lisa lounging in the shady spot in the trees. Nice, super nice. And a little later on, we're gonna go snorkeling off of the point here or maybe over here. So. Stay tuned. So this is uh, downtown Esperanza. I guess one of the two sort of uh, small towns on the island. And, uh, you know. Turn to the left off a beautiful view. Yeah, so. What they're looking at. Yeah, right out here over the Caribbean. It's the south side of the island. And uh, we got some guest houses here, and there's a few little restaurants uh, here in town. But uh, we're looking for something for lunch. We've eaten at two of the restaurants in town, and we think there's a third one. So we're going to uh, try to check that one out, see if it's uh, open for lunch. It's gorgeous here. OK, 
got one side of this island that faces the, Cari the Caribbean, and the other side we get the waves, which we, which, uh, um, we saw some people surfing on, uh, faces the Atlantic. A little rougher, a little colder on the Atlantic side. And here at the end of the, uh, the strip, pretty much end of town too, is the Lazy Jacks, and I think that's where we're going to have some lunch. And here's looking back up here. Here you come. be complete without a Viaquez sign in front of Cuba's Mexican restaurant which doesn't smoke. Okay. Right. So we're arriving now at uh, Isabel Segunda after driving across the uh, island. Stop in for some ice cream. Now here are the food trucks that uh, we ate at breakfast the last two mornings. And uh, Lisa is coming here to get a shake. So they uh, served us breakfast this morning and now they're gonna make her a shake this afternoon, right before we take the, the uh, Jeep back to get it, uh, to return it in our flight back. Thanks for joining us on our three days in Vieques. We had a wonderful time, even though it was the off season and we were there midweek. So I'm not really sure what Viacas is like. It was sort of uh, and, and, a limited taste. Yep. But uh, but still, I loved it. The beaches were incredible. The snorkeling was excellent. Um, I'd like to get to know Isabella Se Isabel Segunda better on a weekend during the season. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And we we barely scratched the uh, the surface on the beaches there. Yeah. Now we went we went to several, but there's many 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 more that uh, we'd like to go to and and try out. We had some. Had some uh, great snorkeling there, um, so there's uh, there's plenty to do if you like the, the like the beach and snorkeling. And <laughs> of course, there's a lot more wild ponies we have let uh, we have yet to meet. <laughs> That's true; they were all over the place. So don't forget to watch our other Viaquez video on snorkeling, and um, and keep an eye out for the next time we go to Viaquez because we'll have more to share. And until then, may your suitcase always be messy. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our next videos. Hasta luego.